Hello, everybody. Apologies, uh, I haven't bought any packaging, and this is totally different from what you may have thought of today. I was going to quickly run upstairs to get a braille carton for you guys to look at. I decided um, we, we'll try and come to that next. But, um, just a question I want to throw out, you might know now, but you can just nod and say yes or no. Does anybody know what double is? No. Okay, thanks. Um, so, I, the purpose of this presentation is just to give you an introduction, general overview on Tabla, which may assist therapeutically working in this type of industry here, and also a few other elements. Go a few handouts here to this one. If you could pass them around, please. So I'm just going to go over today, double origin, background to the construction, further details of the past, tonal elements, and then I'll just conclude. Um, so the tabla is essentially a percussion instrument. Little story here. The student asked the tutor, why is it that the tabla consists of two drums? Around the 13th century, it used to be one drum, but it was quite cumbersome to play. So therefore, it was split into two, and the tabla was born. Coming on to the background to the construction, essentially the right hand drum, if you're right-handed, is a heavy-duty wood shell, which is like mango wood, shisha wood, and it's got a number of elements on the top, it's a leathered um, surface, and then you have a property there which produces tonal elements, which are gum, soot, tar, and a few other ingredients there which are assembled onto the tabla. Then we have the braces which hold the perimeter of the top around the shell to the base, and there's a base ring here. I've got an example of the top which you may want to pass around. And this is then all held together roughly 30 meters of this bracing around the shell. And I'll pass this around for you guys to have a, a feel of it as well. And this is a treble. And then we have a bass drum here, which is essentially similar principles. The only difference is, as you can see here, is a metal shell rather than the wooden. And also dowels we're using here for the tuning purposes of the treble. It has to be a higher pitch, and the bass one is a bit lower pitch, hence we don't have the dowels, but i put a few there just for tuning purposes. Um, for, I think it was a bit loose, so I just put those in, but I could remove those. Just go into the further details of the parts of the blast. So, you, once again, this, I love to sort of demonstrate this as well a little bit, but essentially, when they're constructed, the double R's or experts, they'll hollow out the wood, they'll perhaps season skins, and then they'll, um, the, braces will be essentially will be held, I'll have to demonstrate this. The drum will be held either on your legs here or on your feet. And then you'll put the top on and you have to turn it around and brace it through the, this perimeter ring to the bottom. So it's quite a strenuous process because these are high tension and you need quite a physical almost brute force to get this together. It's all done manually, but not using any manufacturing plant or anything as such. Um, and once again, the metal shell here is, this one is actually used, machined a little bit. You can see a few grooves here, but the other components are then assembled physically by hand. Um, I'll go into the tonal elements. Essentially, it's a two-piece drum. It's played um, in sequence, and this is where again come to the purpose of this presentation is that it's a very good therapeutic instrument. It can help with time and control because when you're playing the tabla, 
you actually have to perform a cyclical um, rhythm and this can assist for stress relief and general sort of well-being and is an alternative to taking say medicine for instance if you complete double large just 10 minutes a day of for example in the morning or evening or whenever one feels so the, i'm not actually going to the full technicalities but there's a tuning note which is this note here and this you go around the treble drum and you have to um, put these dowling blocks up or down to tune the drum and as you can see there that was a slightly different note so i'd have to tune this and this is essentially one of the notes but each um, different area on the surface has a different sound so you have this one this, this. so there's a number of different um, elements there and with the bass drum is a little bit obviously deeper there and when you play them together I'll give you a brief demonstration on that um, it's placed on the floor and essentially the individual would then sit cross knee <laughs> uh, so they would actually place this drum quite comfortable to them they would keep their hands uh, cupped or like this and you can then play a few notes here so I won't actually go into the full detail but you can sort of play a rhythm once you um, develop a bit of timing so this is just a small sample I just want to show you so that's essentially the top laugh for you so in conclusion with you that's this what's in it for me um, Dabla is a very nice instrument it's good for therapeutic purposes good for time and control it can assist with um, general discipline and um, reviewing what I went through today Dabla Origins it was um, if I can say around the 13th century initially it was one drum known as a pack barge and it was you'd have the treble here and the bass here which was a bit cumbersome to play and then it was split into two and the blood was born so you had the treble and the bass which are two separate drums and then again the construction we briefly went over the head which consists of a number of layers of leathers which are um, assembled by hand and then you have this element in the middle which is gum, soot, tar and a few other um, ingredients which are put on the doubler a number of layers and polished with a river stone and then you have the perimeterin uh, straps, dowels which are held together the bung with the perimeterin there and very similar element in the bass drum only difference is that it's a metal shell total elements we briefly went through the tuning element which is this keystroke here which is used to tune the double you go around a bit like a clock and you'll tune in one area you'll go in the opposite tune the opposite and then you'll go 90 degree eventually you'll go around the whole perimeter and tune the blood with the bass drum which is not really required to be tuned to a great level to this deep sound and then our basically conclusion that once again it's a it's quite a good instrument if you ever want to learn a bit more please feel free to ask me I check on the internet do some a bit of search on the doubler if you ever visit to asia india or those parts I can give you some further details you may be able to see them be constructed which is actually an impressive feat in itself so thank you very much for listening do you have any questions um you know when you said it would help for therapeutic conditions what type of conditions well me personally i would say when i'm sometimes stressed like i say stressed um i don't take too much medication as such, well I don't take any medication 
sabi li to tabli the morning last um, time. It just it is it's a different type of um, activity and it's not too loud as well, so it's kind of So, um, where is the tabla from? I think uh, right at the end you mentioned um, yes. India, is it? Is um, yeah, the exact um, location of where it was first established is not 100%, but it's around the 13th century and it was Slovakia, subcontinent, where it was first um, discovered. So, where is it? Huh? Asian subcontinent. So where where is it if we went if we wanted to go and see it manufactured Definitely now where would that yeah, where would India to Delhi um, somewhere like that you yeah. could see I could sort of try and get some more info but there's a lot of um, information on the internet which if you was to type in blah 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 I'd probably show you and then definitely as a holiday destination if you were to go you could see that first town which would be very nice. Thank you. Um, sorry, I didn't see your hand. Don't please do go. Uh, I was just wondering, how did you get into Tabla? Um, it was just very that I just went um, to so I went abroad to India and I saw um, it was being constructed. So I just discovered I've got some relatives out there, um, even in so upset Karachi as well. Um, there's a place that they were constructed. Um, in terms of the rhythms that you play on the tabla, are there specific types of rhythms or um, is it one set rhythm or do you just make it up as you go along? No, they're set rhythms. I, 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 I could show you a brief example which I have here, but there's notes, um, specific notes which uh, you play on the tabla. Can you give us a demonstration perhaps? Or? Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not really an expert on the No, I didn't say that. I was wondering yeah. to hear really how the sound travels in terms yes. of it being an instrument. I can pass this around, you can have a little chat. <laughs> I would certainly not know much about this, <laughs> but that's okay. Can I ask a very personal question, which is, uh, you mentioned that you, you seem to benefit from playing them yourself. How often do you use them? Um, I try my best on a daily basis, but I'll be honest, due to commitments, um, sometimes it's missed, so it could be once every few days. But you try for once a day? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Are they usually used in bands or sort of anything like that, or are they yeah. used to be stress and actually? Yes, used? no, they are used. Yeah. I, I, sh I could have, I'm not, sorry, I didn't bring in a, could have brought a small demonstration for you to hear, but essentially in either modern or classical music, you hear it for the players as well. Any more questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.